Hey, what up, guys? It is Diplex here again, and welcome back to our Survivor 3. Today, we are continuing the Australian campaign, and we haven't made it far uh, in the series, but the game has, like, well, it's almost over. It's like 1942, and shit, son. Shit's going down. The Australians are ready to act. Uh, the Japanese are occupying nearby islands and uh, territories uh, not uh, really belonging to them. But then again, who's ever given a fuck about what belongs to anyone? I can name numerous amounts of wars that have risen because of that. Isn't it all about the world and what's apparently not enough for any one of us? Hmm, well, whatever. The British have invaded down here in Africa. I mean, I'm happy as long as I've got a room. That's about it. I mean, that's my living. Lebensraum, so to say. Um, whoops, hit the mic stand here. Hopefully that didn't affect the recording. Um, but yeah, uh, things are looking pretty good. But as I said, the Australians are ready to act. Um, we've got a lonely little Australian infantry division here set, set out there. It's straight under the Home Forces Command, Theatre's Command. This guy looks intelligent. Looks more like a professor than a general, or field marshal, rather said, but whatever. Then again, Hitler didn't really look like some supreme commander either. Ah, more of a leader person, but... You gotta define that as well, I guess. It o it's all relative. If you have a bunch of leaders with fancy hats on them and, you know, a guy shows up without one, he's gonna look weird. Ah, Picton, for example. It's, an, uh, it's a brilliant example. Everyone else sitting there in their spiffing red, shining uniforms on their horses, and then comes this guy that looks like he's from the 1920s. You know, 100 years late to the party, but whatever. Cool suits. I mean, you can get anywhere in that. Uh... Royal Marine Corps, eh? Well, I'm gonna put them to good use. Uh, I intend to have them sweat. I love it! I indeed I do. And as soon as they arrive here, we're gonna ship them away. Okay, we have the third corps here. I did indeed wonder where they were. Seems like the Japanese have invaded down here. I could try and help out the Dutch. But it feels like helping the British would be more uh, important at this very current state. So I will indeed land the third corps here in in Chittagong. They'll be on their way straight away. That's a total of 40,000 men. They're gonna commence an invasion in what seems to be Nam Tha, current Vietnam, I think, or Cambodia or whatever. It should be well, around here somewhere. And, uh, well, hopefully take this out, even though I think the Japanese will try and do everything they can to protect it. Uh, they do indeed not have access to it, seeing as the Chinese controlled this strip of land over there, along with the rest up here, so we're pretty good on that part. China, uh, they're drifting towards the uh, the s allies, I hope. They're nowhere to be other, oh, they're Axis, damn it. But it's not very big, so they're kind of neutral, I guess. Um, yeah, but I think that's about it. We don't really have to worry about anything else. I'm going to gather the first core. I'm... I can't see a mainland invasion happening anytime soon. Hell, we've got the New Zealanders to call in. The uh, the NC Garrison Corps. Three three divisions. It's got a lot, actually. Uh, 30,000 men probably won't do against uh, 200,000 Japanese troops invading, but we can maybe hold the capital for a few days yet. Yeah? All right. Where's me... Where's me boat? There it is, right. They're on their way. 11 ships. I did lose a colossal amount of ships last time around. Uh, and I did also lose a colossal... Ooh, we're taking the scary route, aren't we? Right across Japanese sea territory. Ooh, right around it as well, without taking a single loss nor casualty. And there we go. We landed nicely. Their navy isn't bad either. Can't click it for some reason. There we go. Weird. Uh, we've got a few heavy cruisers, which make for an amazing protection. They're quite good. Battleships are just an, a very nice bonus if you have that. Oh! The IC has arrived! Woohoo! Let's get me some more transports. I know that's going to be needed. I have them in reserve. I'll lose a lot of ships, that's for sure. Um, Marines? No, but more infantry and artillery would be welcome. If not a little light armor in there. Artillery is going to slow it down, but I do love the bonus it gets in just about everything. I'll build three of those as reserves. And whenever we can, we'll get to it. 
I do not afford that, no sorry. Um, oh, when it comes down to auto management or whatever, well, I'll do that all myself now, seeing as I have a very small unit. Ah, we can't even move here. I should have checked that, but nonetheless, they'll be used downstairs instead. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. What have we got here? CM. Ah, we're at war with those bastards as well, aren't we? Can't enter. Why? Oh, it's too bad. So I can't even go there. It's anti-dramatic. Well, nonetheless, we shall attack, no matter what. Um... Uh, the troops down here could need some backup, and it seems like there's some of the HQs holding out. There's a few. Oh, there's even armor here as well. Of course, but this is British territory. They will scratch my back, I will scratch theirs. So, you know, that's how it works. So, okay, this is a bit close, though. This is a little too close for comfort. Comfortation. Let's see here. Have I got a little navy? I do recall using this one. We're going to send this one home. It's going to pick up what I like to call the first core. That is all stationed right here in Cairns. They're going to be heading out to uh, Wibok and then to Hollandia. I believe this is Ley down here, yes. Uh, they're going to resecure this now if we can walk there. Yes, we can. It seems like the infrastructure will hold. They're probably going to try and take the car and then go straight for Wibok. But I haven't seen any Australian mainland invasions yet. But a lot of these ports have been secured and locked down by the Japanese. We need the Americans, and it's quick. Ah, oh, they've lost a few islands as well, I see. Christmas Island. Well, Pearl, Har Pearl Harbor has happened, so they are at war. They attacked them here in uh, Honolulu, I think it was, right? Is that not where Pearl Harbor is located? It should be, because it's got, like, max airfield, airbase, naval base, infrastructure, anti-aircraft guns, radars. It's a pretty pimped up position. There's Midway up there. Kiska. Valdez. Marines. Ah, oh, Anchorage. That's awesome. I like Anchorage. It's a cool place. Reminds me of Operation Anchorage from Fallout. Don't worry, boys. The three quarters here. We'll we'll hold them until you come. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, chaps. We'll hold them until you come. Now it is our objective to fight them. I will not let the AI do this as much as I'd love to because I'm a lazy prick. I will indeed take full command and responsibility over this myself. So I shall deploy the troops in orderly fashion, please. Did our Navy made it? make it home without being sunk. Oh, it's here alright, and it's fine. Seems like when you move bigger units around, if there is a battle, it usually ends quicker and people just run away. Okay, these transport boats are being built now, along with a submarine flotilla. They'll patrol our nearby lane oceans and uh, keep us safe. But these Japanese, have, Japanese people have to be dealt with, even though infrastructure is so horrible here, I could not move a single or move anywhere, I'd said. I hope they fix that in east and west and make pretty much almost every train doable um, but we'll see what they'll do for it I will attack I will attack in with unnecessary force um, they did this to me and I sh well uh, payback that's, that's what I smell it's oozing out of my ears right now into my nose that's what I'm thinking McDougal let's get the payback uh, we can land right there as I think I think that actually would make for a better invasion. And if we have to retreat, we'll retreat back here. Here they come. Oh, here they come. Watch out, boy. They're gonna crush you. Oh, 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 oh look at this. Oh, Battle of the Car. 51,000 Australians versus 9,000 poor Japanese troops being attacked by panzers and everything. Look at that. First, nine. Oh, but they're bombing us. They're bombing us. Where's our Air Force? Where's our Air Force? Where's our Air Force? Here it is. What's this? Tactical bombers. Bombing back, boys. Uh, we'll land in Lay quickly here. What's the operational radius for that one? Ah, shit, we're out of it. It's range. What? Which one are they using? Must have been a good airport if they can bombard us from there. But we'll break them no matter what. No matter... Oh, we'll, what? Starting to doubt my Australian troops here. 
Hmm, I can't re... Mm, that should be closer, I hope. No, it's right outside of its range. Bloody hell. Is there no airport I can use? What's the one down there sitting at? Level 4. Level 1. That could be one of the very reasons I shall rebase to this one right now. Hopefully the battle is still ongoing. Yes, it is. We're kind of winning now. Let's see here. This one has a level 1 as well. Yeah, that level 4 might be enough. Actually, I think... No, it's not. Damn it. I'll just just have them there anyways. It's kind of closer to everything. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, they're reinforcing, but they have no supplies. We should be able to break them. And a few days later, the fighting's ended, and we took it. But I must occupy everything else down here, just to make sure that everyone's happy. Then we're going to be preparing to move this guy out again. So I'll send the navy up here. Her bowel, Jesus Christ, they're really occupying my nearby... Positions now. I do dislike this a lot. I can't say I like it one bit. No. Not at all. Look at that. Stationed a big nave there as well. Hopefully I can move up here without getting noticed. I did indeed. We're going to seize that territory. Then head back instantly. We are leaving for home. Um, I'm afraid I can't defend all these territories. Especially not... Uh, helping out the Dutch right now, that would be impossible. They've landed in too many places, the Japanese. They've secured Singapore, they've secured all nearby laying areas that are worth having. They've taken all these ports. Ah, uh, we are leaving, as Captain Price would say in a very sort of hard and ungenerous voice. But the British do not fear, they are still probably one of the most powerful nations navy-wise. They cannot probably be beaten, unless it's the... Americans that are in the run. But then again, the Japanese Navy is very strong. But I see a lot of British ships around here in these areas. A lot of cruisers. And it seems like we've had a little landing gun down here. If they wanted to, they could probably break through. But we haven't seen any of that yet. Ain't nobody got time for that, as a famous woman once said. With perhaps not too much intellectual spores in her brain. If now that's a word. Um, infrastructure good zone. We'll go there straight away. Ah! Production. Everything's at top, sir. Research AI is tr training fighter pilots. See if we can help out someone, though. We've got uh, the ships or boats down here. We could do a naval strike. That's a Dutch. <laughs> That's a Dutch navy. We wouldn't want to do a naval strike on our own navy or our allies' navy for that part, either, would we? That wouldn't be very good for the PR, I'd say. Um, I might do a little rebasing up here, meanwhile. And just bomb the Japanese troops into suppression. It should help out quite a bit. Uh, we'll fly over. It's just one little tactical group. It's quick. It's swift. Ground attack. Let's bomb him, boys. I think they just lost a few. Your fighters have only one bomber, but this is good. This will put them in suppression. Strategic overview. All. Entire conflict. Our losses. Wow. 2,701 IC in convoys last week. That's no, no, Not last week, this entire conflict. That's pretty bad. Apparently nothing in navies or anything else. Land. A few. But they've lost way more. And this is, by the way, everything here in total. Hmm. Nice. I took a look at this thing before. Actually, I should check out everyone else but Japan and myself. They've actually lost more in land losses than I have. Manpower as well. I have not lost 1,534 manpower, but I think it's my entire entire coalition. Air. Hmm. Well, it's clear that the British have done most of this damage along with the Americans than myself. I have, we have lost a lot of convoys, but I could not have lost 800 40 convoys, whatever. That would have been way too much. Anyways, we're going to send these guys home. And defend what we can. Um, they are indeed attacking here. I could probably counterattack and beat them. But to me, those territories are 
aren't super valuable. And I'd rather focus my efforts down here to retake Singapore. If we could retake Singapore, attack down through Siam and knock out the Japanese power down here, then we would be in a very good position, I must say. So I think we'll do that, actually. I think we'll reinforce our section up here while we focus on building another little home guard. That would not be wrong. Oh, look at that. American airborne troops in Rangoon. Well, they're welcome, I presume. Welcomed by the... Oh, the Storming Lay. Now, now that's the last trip. Where's my... I fear they've already arrived. Have they sunk? No, here they are. We must defend it. We must defend it. Send back the troops. These islands out here, fine. But, no. I, um... Lay is too important for me. Besides, I don't really own the rest up here anyways. But, no, I'll, I'll, I'll put my efforts on actually retaking this. It'll be worth it in the end. So send back the navy. Send it home. Come on, laddies, come. Drive the captain gay. Zook. So where can we move? Uh, we can't even get there. That's, that's so dumb. I can't even describe... Uh, We'll see where the Japanese put themselves, if they'll move back to Lei. Yeah, they are. Oh, they're moving down as well. We'll see if we can catch them off guard and do a little invasion while they're actually moving down to Lao. Yeah, I think we'll be successful in that. Storm it, storm it, and storm it well. From two directions. The armored division... Mechanized, brothers. It isn't mechanized, yes, but it's got light armored motorized, of course. Storm it, brothers. Your HQ is coming ashore to command and help. Oh, we took it. Nice. Well, we'll show him. We'll show him. Ah, uh, <laughs> bloody hell, I say. Good, good show, lads. Anyways, we retook that. Port Moresby. Fucking hell. Looks like we're going to have to try and retake that as well, right? Well, you know what? I think I owe the people a little favor here. There will be an infrastructure in between here, so we can move. There will also be infrastructure in between here, so we can move there. But that's the only part of these islands that I control myself. Wait. That's mine. Hmm, can't for some reason. It's not mine, it's Portuguese! And I... Th I thought it was mine. Damn. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Just make sure we have some infrastructures that we can get through and in between. I think that's highly important. Yeah, get on with it. Top priority. It shall be done this year in just a matter of months. Then we can actually move down there to begin with. I wonder what they're going to... Ooh, no. What? Whoa, that's insane. Okay, so the fleet from Japan is triumphant. We lost a uh, transport squadron while they lost what seems to be a battleship and cruiser, or not, if heavy cruiser and destroyers. Damn! That wasn't bad. No, we lost... They lost a heavy cruiser and a battleship. Wow. I would never have guessed that. We did lose one ship, but that's not the worst I've been through. The rest of the Navy is barely alive and breathing. Uh, I think we'll actually send you to a better port that does everything we need better. Down there would be good. Sydney? No, Brisbane, sorry. Sydney is down here. Of course, that port is beats just about everything down here. Send it there straight away to replenish and refuel. So there will be no counter-invasion. There will, however, be um, a land advance as soon as this infrastructure gets up on its feet. Alright, so that's pretty much everything. Now the long await begins. Um, well, they're just roaming around, taking whatever they can. Is it just me, or can actually marines move in more unsuitable areas than the rest? Seems to be the case. <laughs> Not one step backwards, that's all I say. We're about to enter the 1943 phase soon. Seems like the Americans have reclaimed uh, Wake Island, if they didn't already have it, that is. It's quite a nice island. Got Midway here. 
Johnston Island's been taken. Uh, we'll probably see the Americans retaking that soon. They just retook Palmyra. Palmyra, wow, that's a kebab place in in Sweden. You can eat pretty good kebab there. I was there once. It was pretty damn good. It's crowded as fuck. Um, have you not geared up into War Machine yet, boys? Oh, there's lots of Marines there. Probably whole Marine Corps there sitting on the Western Front. I guess... The America you don't want to mess with hits the shit in 1944. I mean, or 1945 as well. But ever since then, it's been probably the most powerful war, war machine that we know of. In before that, probably not. But, you know, war makes you do a lot of weird things. Germany still holds everything, and Bulgaria, together with the rest, shared Yugoslavia. Romania's increased in size, Hungary's increased. No, they've decreased in size. Hungary took that little thing out there. And yeah, the war on the Western Front has been going on for some time. Or Eastern Front, should I say. My Western, should I say. They're Eastern. Um, yeah, but Romania needs to, to give to give uh, way to a few Russian advancing units here. Taking Trakai here. They're going to go from Minsk, Homel, Kiev... Kharkov, Kursk, Orel, Biransk, Tula, Moscow, and hopefully not Stalingrad down here. Fuck it, they're storming all my islands. They're storming whatever they can, right? They're just storming, 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 storming. Can we storm it? Yes, then storm it. Do it. Whatever it is, storm it. <laughs> Bloody hell. More transport ships. This was needed. Um, I feared that. I'll be putting these down here. Not merging them, but no, they'll be reserve. They're the fifth transport flotilla, and they're in reserve. HM Royal and Navy um, will be sent up here as well. While they'll swap places quickly. Have we repaired all the ships? Yeah, t almost entirely. It'll soon be done. And as soon as we can, we'll move down here. As I said, we've got to give it some time. We'll take a look at the Western Front meanwhile, and hopefully the computer keeps me alerted. If anything happens. Oh, and yeah, shit. We're almost down here now. Get these boys to their positions. Yeehaw! With our Indian allies. 5-5. Five, five. That's pretty nice. They've only got 2-3 three and 3-3. Three, three. We might even beat the Japanese. Who knows? Australian fighting men. Africa is being secured now. The Battle of Africa is going on here. The Italians are actually almost put into retreat. They're securing most of this Vichy-controlled territory. Did Vi Yeah, Vichy France gave in and completely... Surrendered to the Germans. They didn't even bother creating it in Europe, it seems. Whoa, now we see a bit of a war machine kicking kicking up here. Lots of troops pretty much everywhere here. Memphis! Yeehaw, Memphis, Tennessee. Down here. Infrastructure not yet done. When it is, we'll be alerted. And we'll make sure we use it. Dutch colonial troops here in Dutch Asia, fighting as hard as they can. There's a few of them remaining. There's a few posts. My bombers are still going all out on these Japanese troops here. Let's see how many they have remaining. Well, we've killed a few hundreds at least. We're lowering their manpower. It's war effort right there. Okay. Got these in position. I'm gonna try and counterattack now down here. Twenty thousand troops in Dukuyahat, while I keep a flexible front line down here. Easy attack as the Australians beat back the CMEs troop or the CM troops. They reclaimed it, and we move down. Now, how's the infrastructure here? No, we can't move in here. Oh, we don't know. We don't have an intel of it. 10%. Can we move through that? No. We can move. We stop being able down here, so we need to move down here first with all the troops. 
then we'll counterattack on these Japanese troops with these, then we'll lock them into a province, and then it'll kind of be like a quality versus quality, not so much quantity. But I want two fallback units behind, so two divisions in defensive positions in case we do need to retreat, while two division pushes on the Japanese marine troops. Um, more, more increased activity down here. The British have been pulled out, though. There's a few defending a few ports, but most of them have probably been sent to Africa as the British African presence is fairly large. They're down here, they're up here with tons of troops. They're not to speak of them up here. But they've got quite the presence. Look at that. Mackenzie, sir. Gortz, Messery. Horrocks, sir. Major General Lindsay and Van Der. Look at those. D uh, Belgian troops are attacking Tobruk. Or Tripoli, should I say. Tob Tobruk is back here. It's awesome. Ebbles and my armored cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. 